Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. So in today's video, as you guys can see from the title below, I will be showing you guys my December favourites. I'm actually still on the roll with doing these. I really enjoy doing them every month and it's just really nice to just look back on all the stuff that I've been enjoying, loving. So I'm just going to jump straight in. I'm not going to ramble. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And let's just get into it. So I'm going to start off with my fashion favourites for you guys. So the first thing I've really, really been loving this month has been these little bear boys and these are my levi's i bought a pair of levi's and i'm actually obsessed I've literally worn these like nearly every single day obviously because i wear them to work as well but um even outside of work i still wear these they are the levi's 721 high rise skinny and they got them in a 26 waist i'm about a i literally range from a 25 to a 26 27 waist depending on the jeans and how tight they are but guys these fit my waist perfectly i absolutely love these they're just amazing they make the booty look so nice and it doesn't like it doesn't flatten you out because i know some jeans can do that if they're really really tight either they look really nice on your waist but then they just they just flatten everything else out and it just looks really weird but i really don't get that with these jeans i absolutely love them they're very similar to like a mum jean but they're more skinnier and i really really wanted that because i have my old levi's that i got from a vintage store ages ago and they're literally so distressed and so mash up and i wear those religiously especially in the summer they're like my go-to they're just really comfortable and they're not sticking to your body but i really wanted a pair of levi's that were like much more skinny so as you guys can see they're much of a skinny they're much more of a skinnier leg but i absolutely love these these are like my go-to i got them on the sale rack for 35 pounds but if i can manage to find them i will leave the link for them down below for you guys but yeah these are amazing the second thing fashion wise has been this beanie right here i've literally oh my god it's so dirty i've been wearing this like religiously so much it's just like a go-to whenever i'm just like i have a bad hair day and i really don't want to do anything I just pop this on my head if you guys probably have seen it on my instagram if you guys follow me on instagram i absolutely love this i wear it all the time um i found it just randomly around my house it says fire trap on it it's like this wool material definitely one of my winter staple pieces recently so my third fashion favorite is not a clothing item it is a pair of shoes and it is these little bear boys and these are my black patent kind of doc martin but not really doc martin um when i wear these people think they are doc martins but these are like the dupes to the um doc martin Jaden boots and i've been wanting to get those boots for so long um i wanted to get the standard doc martins first and i went to the store um to actually like try them on and see if i'd like them because i wasn't sure what size i was because i'm not sure if it was a size up or down and they didn't have my shoe uh, they didn't have um my size in stock so i was like maybe the universe is telling me not to get them yet so i went into a store next door and it was soul trader um also an online run as well i'll leave the link down below and i picked up these painting kind of shiny boots and these are like my winter staples like i absolutely love these i've been like in dire need of like a pair of boots that i can just like stomp around in especially in the mud and stuff because where i live is very very muddy i have a lot of like forests and parks and i walk through so much different things because obviously i don't drive and these are literally perfect you guys can see they're kind of muddy i need to clean them but oh my god i've literally been wearing this i've been wearing these religiously i literally have not stopped wearing them but they are very similar to the dog martins and i really do want to get the dog martin jaden soon um but yeah, they, they they might as well be the Dog Martins because I had to wear these in when I first got them. And they were so painful. I did an eight hour shift at work and my feet were literally killing me. So yeah, it took about a week and a half, two weeks to be to wear them religiously in order to um, break them in. But once I broke them in, they were super comfortable. So, and I got these in a size 39. So that should be a size six, I think. I'm really bad with sizes, guys. <laughs> okay, that's all my fashion favorites. Now going on to like beauty and hair and music and then i'm done a hair product i've really been loving um this month is a dish little bear boy and this is the um shea moisture intensive hydration hair mask and oh my god guys that's what it looks like when i tell you guys that this stuff oh my god it makes my hair so, so i've never had a hair mask that makes my hair so soft um whenever i do a hair mask usually it just feels kind of dry afterwards or it just doesn't it feels like it's doing something once it's on my hair but then once i wash it off it feels like it wasn't even on there in the first place but this stuff is absolutely amazing um it makes my hair so soft as soon as i wash it off i'm in love i'm i will religiously keep buying this um it's, it smells so good as well um it has i'll show you guys what it has in it it has 
fig extract and boboa oil and manuka honey and mafrua oil guys i'm really bad with names i'm not even going to try and butcher the names on this but yeah if you're a curly girl and you really want something that just hydrates your hair especially for the winter time this stuff is amazing it's a bit pricey i got this from my boots i think i got it for eight pounds but i only do i only deep condition my hair once a week and it's amazing if you have low porosity hair it's really good to use heat with it um but i don't have a hooded dryer i really want to get one of those but i don't have one i might get one off amazon or something but for the meantime i've just been using those plastic um foil heated caps but obviously they don't work as well as it would if you did have a heat if you did have a hooded dryer but yeah loving this stuff and then my last favorite is this little bear boy it's so tiny so cute i've been kind of dabbling here and there in makeup i'm not a makeup expert or a makeup artist by any means but i've really been like trying to dabble in makeup a bit more so i've been really been trying to find something to bake with or to set my face with or at least my under eyes anyway because one i'm like combination to oily skin so whenever i do my makeup it was just like a hot mess and um I, yeah i just couldn't find a drugstore powder that wouldn't leave like a white cast or make me look like a ghost but i found this makeup revolution luxury baking powder in terracotta and i absolutely love this this was really inexpensive it was like five pounds i think four or five pounds i can't remember i've been seeing a lot of laura mercier powders for makeup artists and people on youtube and like those are quite expensive so if you really want like a drugstore um, setting powder that will look really nice this I'm wearing it right now I pull it under my eyes and then on my t-zone and here and here and it just gives it a really nice warm glow because it has a yellow undertone to it and I have a lot of yellow undertones in my skin and I really really like it I highly recommend it if you really don't want to go ham with buying 30 40 pounds setting powders so that is all my favorites it was just a really really quick one but of course my favorites is not complete without a music favorite so i'm gonna share with you guys my music favorite and that would be everything okay so <clears throat> my music favorite for the month i have religiously replaying the song i'm actually obsessed so my music favorite for the month has been tiana taylor that girl has been spitting out some tunes you know so there's two songs from her album that i really really love the first one is gonna love me and i listened i first listened to this um on the bus on the way to work and i watched the music video on youtube and i was just getting complete nostalgic 90s vibes on watching that music video and i feel like the epitome of that video is the caption if it doesn't feel like 90s love then i don't want it that's literally what i feel like that music video describes so i'm just gonna play it i don't know why i feel like telling you guys that but yeah let me just play the song okay From her, from her album I really been loving is Issue slash Hold On and yeah I'm, I'm gonna play you guys that one Fighting to keep us together hope it's worth a try You ain't always been an angel but heaven's on our side So hold on hold on hold on let me go Hold on hold on So that is all my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed it was just a mini quick one if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you're new to my channel i'll leave the link for everything that i mentioned down below in the description for you guys and be sure to go follow me on my vlog channel as well if you want to and i will see you in my next video deuces